Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Have you ever wondered what games you should sell or you should use? Find out here at Purdue's. Find out on our top 10 list what games you cannot miss. Don't forget to subscribe to Purdue's. Unnatural Selection is a party game, silly kid, apples to apples, wannabe, or clone, or copy, whatever you want to say. Uh, I mean, you either like this type of wacky thing, or you don't. I don't. Uh, I, I play board games for different reasons. Sure, I guess, I, if, you want, if you want to play this with me, I'll sit down and play with you, and I don't think we have to keep score or play very long, but it is what it is. I mean, you're putting wacky things together. Somebody's going to determine what they like best, and you're going to hope that it's yours. It's really weird. It has a mechanic where they put a card in that isn't any of the players. So technically, the judge could pick one that doesn't score anybody. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, and you make these octopus with a tie. I mean, on the back of the book... Sprinkled with tempura flakes, chicken, skinny, jolly, mineralized pet rock, overweight, goldfish with a headache. I mean, just weird silliness. And, I, you know, I can be really goofy, and my wife will attest to this. I can be really silly at times, but I don't like forced silliness, and, and maybe that's what this is. And, and you know, the game. It, ah, game. Is it a game? Sure. All right. Purge. If you like this sort of thing, you know who you are. Buy it. You know I really like R and R games. I've met the guys at the Dice Tower. They they could not be nicer people. I think my wife bought every single game that they have at their table just because she liked them so much. I was like, I'll just take my kids are there. And I'm probably saying too much, but um, nicest guys in the world. Really like them. They're fantastic people and fantastic human beings from what I know of them. But unnatural selection. I mean. It's market is not me. I, I realize it's out there. This probably sold pretty well. People like this sort of thing. It plays up to 10 people. So it's a fun little party game. I would probably just do something else, mo most likely. Um, so Unnatural Selection is a pass, and I will purge on this one pretty quickly. Doesn't mean it's a terrible game. just means it's not for me. Take a look at the components for unnatural selection. Here's the box art, which is kind of cool. It's very portable, fits right in my hand. You're gonna get a few cards that look like this. Best house pet of grandma's, different ideas on the back. You're playing pretty generic, not the best quality, not the best quality at all. Uh, the artwork's a little silly on the back here. I do like the colors though. I mean, I, I really do like that. I wish the cards were better stock. And you get artwork like this. Do you like this kind of artwork? Uh, it's up to you. Mosquito. Roly Pulley. Ma. So, and you're going to get a ton of this. You get more cards in this shit. It's just half of them. So you get a lot more. There's a wizard. Uh, they shuffle fairly well. Uh, you get plenty of cards in the box. I mean, all this game is is cards. I do like the backs of them. I do like how colorful they are with the little thing. So many games give us bland colors. I like that. And, 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 and this is about... What what you need it to be? It's just words, and you know you can write on a piece of paper other words, I suppose. But that's the components for unnatural selection. The rules for unnatural selection are uh, folded up paper that you kind of unfold. There's two books, one in each language. This game is really easy to learn. I mean, you're gonna learn this in a minute or two, and you'll have it on the table. It's fine for what it is. The, the book doesn't get in the way. It's you know it's a little cheap party game with some cards. So uh, the rule book is fine. Okay, the way the game starts is everybody gets three cards, and they're gonna put one of these in to the pile. We'll put my boss in, and then the other players will each put a, a uh, card in, 
and these will be face down. And then what the judge will do is he will put a random card in here. Um, he'll shuffle them up and play them out. So we have a monkfish, my boss, minotaur, and a mosquito. And once again, we won't know who played what. And then what we'll be able to do is to play these down for the blue side. We got dancing and microscopic, and we try to which one will be the scariest. So I, you know, even though my boss we know is mine, you know, I'm gonna play microscopic on the minotaur. Because a minotaur is scarier than my boss, perhaps, but a microscopic minotaur, mm, maybe not so scary. And then you might uh, a dancing mosquito. That's kind of more funny, and you know, and they might play my boss with a cast on his leg or somebody else might play a monkfish covered in hives or a microscopic minotaur covered in hives uh, somebody else might play a slow monkfish that's not very scary or whatever and you know and these things can can you know take on these funny things i guess a my boss cast on leg and he's worried i don't know he he isn't that funny so the judge will then award, um, the judge will decide which one wins. Um, who would win the battle? So you decide. Who would win? A slow monkfish, a dancing mosquito, my boss with a cast on his leg is worried, or a microscopic minotaur covered in hives. So let's say he picks, uh, the minotaur, that's micro, microscopic minotaur covered in hives because he's like, hey, maybe those hives are contagious. The player who played the creature is awarded the card by the judge. So he's awarded this card and it's placed face down to score. Um, if it's the one that was random, then it would all go into the discard pile. And then everybody gets a turn playing it. So the first person, depending on the matter, say two to five players, Whoever wins five battles gets five victory points, wins, and there's a number of those. Now, there are a couple of variants that come with it. Um, you could pick one of these challenge event cards. This says winner of a snowball fight. Um, so you would try to see which of these guys would, would win a snowball fight. The winner of the potato sack race. And that's supposed to be funny. Haha, ha, isn't that funny? Uh, and so that's a variant that you can play with it. You know, the best belly flop and the kiddie pool. The winner of a hot dog eating contest. Worst cab driver in Times Square. First to be thrown overboard with shit. And it's just different things other than winning a fight. Maybe who would win a potato sack race. And that's really a natural selection. Uh, you're going to be playing this to try to win. And then a judge will choose. And you may not know whose cards are who. Because you know, you're putting them face down. That's a natural selection. Who should buy this game? Anybody looking for a party game? Uh, this one would be okay. I mean, I, I think maybe, you know, if you, you're gonna look at the back of this box and you're gonna know if this is for you or not. You're gonna know if you like the silliness. You know, this is probably, you know, more kid friendly, uh, which is the silliness that's involved. And you have the variety cards that can change from just a fight or scariest or whatever to different things. Like which one would win uh, a pie eating contest or something. Um, It's a quick game. It plays rather quickly. It's one of those things you just play to your board. We played at Dice Tower Con at, at lunch one day. Just We opened it up and see what it was. And I hate to be so vague. You watch this to get feedback. And, and the, the very few of you who actually watch this particular review, um, you want to know if this is a good game or not. And this, in this particular point of the review, you, I should tell you who should buy it. Families, light people, people who like party games, people who like apples to apples. But really, you're going to look at the back of this box, and this silliness is either going to make you giggle or make you vomit. That's pretty much how it's going to come down to. I'm going to purge. Your mileage may vary. <laughs>